Hello, everybody. I want to talk about what's right. Making the right decision at the right time and for the right reasons can be a challenge, principally because of the great influences that interfere with doing what's right. These influences affect our ability to make reasoned, deliberate decisions. And there's four. The first influence is biases and perceptions. Everyone has a bias or a preconceived notion, whether it's the type of job or the type of food or the type of school that one should go to. And our biases affect our ability to think rationally and logically. They impede our thought and collude our understandings. So knowing and controlling one's biases or perceptions is a foundation upon which the right decision can be made. To be sure, some biases aren't necessarily controlling to our future. President Bush had a bias against broccoli and wouldn't eat it. That doesn't cost much to anybody, but there's some that do. And so you have to control your biases. Second is your unwillingness to give up what we call pleasure. And a great example is that telling the truth often costs you something, whether it's your job, friendship, or money. If it wasn't difficult to tell the truth, more people would, and we wouldn't be talking about whether you should or shouldn't tell the truth. The reason we often don't tell the truth, or even do the right thing, is because it's more profitable or pleasurable to do the opposite. The more one has to give up, the more difficult it is to tell the truth. The third influence is a natural tendency to fit in, where going against the grain means going against the many, and this is often not rewarded. We tend to believe in the infallibility of authority, whether it's by divine right, a king, a queen, or a pope, our positions held, such as a manager, actor, sports star. There's the belief that these people know what they're doing, and as we age, we realize they don't. They just enter a different position. And lastly, the last influence is what I call the effort to justify and rationalize our behavior, often using extreme examples to prove one's conduct is right or wrong. For instance, most agree that stealing or cheating is wrong, but Cheating on one's taxes may be condoned because of a belief that everybody does it, and the government wastes our money anyway. When you hear somebody rationalize or justify their behavior, it's always, almost always because they're wrong. So now that we know some of these influences, how can we make the right decision and do the right thing? I think it comes down to answering three questions. First, is the easiest? Is it legal? What does the law say? Laws are either yes or no, right or wrong. And of course, courts may interpret the laws differently through time, but you get a sense, generally a sense, of whether an issue is right or wrong based on the law. The law is the moral minimum. It's the minimum level of conduct that we as a society can agree to impose on all of us through the threat of force and sanctions. Second is, is it balanced? Did you gather all the facts, statistics, theories related to the issue? Did you look at both sides? Did you gather the information before you made the decision? Or did you gather the information simply to support your own personal belief, bias, or thought? The last is the most challenging. Is it right? What is right? An issue that has perplexed centuries of men and women. I believe right is that which advances the human interest or the human condition. In other words, that which betters our world. Given the above, a former student once said the following, Law deals with crime and punishment. Religion deals with virtue and sin. Ethics sits directly in the middle between law and religion. Doing, what right, doing what's right relies on law and religion, but it also relies upon advancing the human interest, the human condition. And here's a great way to look at it. You should ask yourself when you make a decision if you would want every single person you ever met to make the same decision. If you do, then often it is the right decision to make. Doing the right thing is not often easy, financially rewarding, or career advancing. But our world is better because of those few people who took a stand, who stood up for injustice, and who chose to give up all in order to attain something worthwhile. That capacity is within us all, if only we know what's right and choose to do what is right. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the day.